shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We getting locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. And I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We getting shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Officer Pagiel. In today's news, we have... Florida advances bill that would ban making white people feel bad about racism. And no, that's not a joke. Let's read, let's read the article. Scroll down. Let's read the highlighted part. Read that. On Tuesday, a bill backed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis that would prohibit public schools and private businesses from inflicting discomfort on white people during lessons or training about discrimination was approved by the state Senate Education Committee, its first hurdle before becoming a law. So you know what's crazy, right? They say uh, bring discomfort to the Edomites, the so-called white men, right? Edomites, that's what God calls them, in schools. Well, last time I checked, they teach Christmas in school. And Christmas is offensive to our people because we were being sold and passed down as gift during Christmas. They teach Thanksgiving. That's discomfort to our people. Native Americans, we don't like that. They teach off 1776, Fourth of July, all that stuff. We were enslaved in those times. That brings discomfort to our people. How come there was no law about that? Because that right there is racism. Continue. The bill, SB 148 seemingly grew out of the conservative hysteria over critical race theory, which, as a reminder, is an academic concept based on the idea that racism is not about individual people's prejudices, but about institutions and policies. And that's facts. It's not just about the people. First, they get the thought, and then they put it in, in, into law. The same thing he's doing now, trying to hide it. Well, let's get some scripts about that. Let's get Psalms chapter 10, verse 10. Psalms, chapter 10, verse 10. He crouches and humbleth himself. So he crouches, humble himself. I feel a little discomfort. Read. That the poor may fall by his strong ones. Mm -hmm. That's the problem right here. That's why they do that. So we, they can make the poor fall. Who's the poor? Our people. Read. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He said, God, man, God bless America. God has forgotten all that stuff. Let's, let's hide that stuff. That's the, that stuff is bringing discomfort to our people. The stuff that um, my forefathers did, my family members. Now you got my grandma crying because she probably was there as a young child while, while her, her dad was whipping the crap out of some black slave. Now you bring discomfort to her. No. Now, you, you know, children in school, they think they're feeling bad. No, don't bring discomfort. The truth, no, lie. Come on, we, we, we got to live in a bubble. We got to put all that stuff away. Read. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. Uh -huh. He hideth his face. He hide his face. Nah, man, we didn't do slavery. And if they if they pass the bill, that's you know, it's not just gonna start in in um in Florida. I mean, stay in Florida. They're gonna go all across the U.S. That's why they're taking that. They said, go ahead, take down those statues, hide all the evil stuff that we used to do. That's read that part again. What did what do they do? He hideth his face. No, I'm not the evil one. No, slavery. What slavery? That never happened. We never lynched nobody. Nope. Read. He will never see it. He will never see it. He could never see the stuff that we feel. He, do, he doesn't understand. That's what God said. He does not understand. That's how they feel. Now, I got I, I to have comfort in this, um, this lavish life that I'm living. You bring this comfort to me. Let's go to John chapter 3. John chapter 3, read verse 20 and 21. John chapter 3 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. For everyone that doeth evil... Hateth the light. They hate the light. They hate the truth. Anyone that does evil hate when their evil is pointed out. They cannot stand it because now you look at them and be like, wait, you're not as righteous as I thought. You keep talking about other people, you know, countries is being oppressed. But look at what you're doing to your people. You've been looking, look at what you're doing to the people, the so called blacks in America, the so called Hispanics, Native Americans. You've been oppressing them for hundreds of years and you're not stopping. That's why they hate the truth, because other nations no longer see them in the light. Read. Neither cometh to the light, uh -huh. lest his deeds should be reproved. That's the problem right here. They don't want to be corrected. Instead of saying, you know what, we did wrong, let's correct it. What we did was wrong. No. 
if they admit it, if they admit anything, that means they're evil. They will not admit that. You still have to look at them as the angel of light. But the son of perdition will be revealed. Read. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Uh-huh. That his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. That's the problem right here. They don't want to be angry with God. And it's, this is another thing, too. They think, like, by doing this, they could stop the truth from spreading. Because that's the problem right there. That's the real target. They're tired of the truth spreading. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. This is the truth right here. They hate this light that's being shine, black shine. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. That's the truth right there. Slavery happened. The Lord has brought us into slavery again on this side of the world. In Florida, happened. Read. With ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So this is this, like to say, God bless America. We believe in the Bible. We're a God-fearing country. Well, guess what? God prophesied that your behind will take other nations into slavery. That's truth. That's Bible truth. All right? Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. So the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, we never see our homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold that's unto your part, enemies. That, that's the part right here they hate. Read it again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. When we, when we speak the truth, when we tie it up with the Bible, the Bible says, the Bible opens our eye, opens our mind. Wait, we have enemies? Those people are my enemies? It starts to make sense. The best way to hide it is to get rid of it. Is bring discomfort. Bring it, 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 it's not right. Y'all think, I don't feel comfortable. Well, we don't feel comfortable when everything else that y'all do. What's the bill for that? The Chinese get a bill real quick. Finish the script. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies mm -hmm. for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. No one has ever been able to buy us out of this slavery. That's what he's talking about. No one has been able to save us out of this slavery that we were sold to, um, to our enemies by our enemies. And that's why they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that, they, they don't want you to know that you have enemies. <laughs>